one very important uh, uh, trait which is necessary to make money in the market is to have the resilience to a falling market or when the market uh, panics for example if there is a war in ukraine uh, and the market comes down the ability to sit tight without doing anything this comes from various things it comes one from saying i have adequate money for the next 5 7 years so i don't really have to bother it comes from having an insurance for everything else insurance for your health insurance saying okay if i lose my job i'll get another job i've got other sources of cash flow like say even uh, even dividend uh, or i have enough money in liquid fund etc so all these things go to reinforce and keep you resilient to it towards that right but having been resilient it does not mean you say oh I, I am resilient so I will hold a share from 100 to 0 or say from 300 to 0 you cannot do that but uh, you have to have the resilient you, you have to be resilient enough uh, to know that uh, I don't need to panic here in these things it's not easy to learn it but it is a completely necessary trait right so once in a while uh, even for people with uh, so much of experience just by spending time in the market the market will throw a, the market will throw a googly right exactly at a time when I think the market is overpriced uh, and I need to remove some money from equity just because I want I think uh, I'm smarter than the market and I will put it into debt and I'm thinking and planning and doing all this redo my asset allocation and that is exactly when things go wrong I go and sell and then the market source of these things will happen now if, you, if it does happen it just means your analysis was wrong the market is never wrong the market does what is what is necessary for the market to do at that point in time so the market will continue to do that so your resilience means to be able to say okay I think something is going wrong here so therefore I will sell some shares it's perfectly all right or oh, and also say if it goes down beyond a particular uh, beyond a particular price I may buy it back so have all your strategies in place but being resilient is very useful so that you don't get carried away by what you hear in the media or your friends panicking and things like that you should not have to uh, worry about those things right so at the heart is uh, our uh, problem is uh, how we react emotionally to emotional events so when a person was identified saying he has cancer and uh, MNC bank approached him to buy uh, insurance for his children he thought it was such a brilliant idea he went and committed a big amount of insurance for his children and the children had no need for insurance and after his death luckily there was enough uh, money left in the estate to pay for those um, policies but how would have they paid if this money was suddenly not available right so uh, when you're emotional don't take decisions right so when you are be, when you've uh, been bereaved you lost your husband you lost your wife you lost your child or something like that that's a great vulnerable time for somebody to come and miss sell a product to you and uh, also some when the ma when the client has died to go to and meet the wife and say oh put all this money in your lips etc is very easy very tempting so be very careful when you are in that stage when you are emotionally vulnerable it's your daughter's marriage day after tomorrow you need money you might sign off your house for a fraction of the value right so be careful about those emotional investment emotional uh, times when you make wrong and bad investments or maybe bad borrowing or whatever it is right uh, we always think we want to buy at the bottom and sell at the top but we I can find many cases where I have bought at the bottom about bought at the top and tried to sell at the bottom right so these things have happened it's not that it does not happen also realize that many people will come and talk to you that oh in 1973 there was an oil crisis or something in 1929 what happened obviously both of you have not gone through that experience right so it is just a hearsay hearsay experiences are not so difficult to handle uh, okay let me put it this way uh, we've been seeing a uh, watching a film called Kashmir files many people have been watching this film I've also watched it now that you feel bad that this happened but to me the ship Sena attack on us uh, on South Indians when in 1969 was much more uh, easy to remember because a stone flew over my head when I was sleeping it flew over my head so I will never forget that so to me like in Hindi they say you are biti and jag biti you are biti and you remember more of jag biti and you remember more but you remember more of ex personal experience which you go through right so this is what uh, so have I bought some shares at very high price and then uh, sold at the bottom? No, not sold at the bottom because if I make a mistake of buying at a high price 
price and I realize that I have made the mistake, I cut my losses. I don't wait for uh, my 450 to go to zero to be able to sell it. That that much I think I have been able to control. So developing emotional resilience is really part of the experience. You also have to understand how the uh, how the investment career will really perform. So if you really started during a, a during bad times, during recessions, during mandis, you're very well off because it means you would have worked on a very small salary from a person who was refusing to even uh, even give you an appointment, but you've got a job there. How well will you be prepared for doing that job and how much will you learn from there, right? All those things are going to determine your portfolio. Uh, you have to also understand that uh, history does repeat itself, but you do not know in exactly the same form. It is not exactly the same shares which will fall. There will be a different share. Company with very good PE, very good growth over long periods of time could lose. Uh, if the petrodollar is under threat, then in, uh, the US dollar may not rise so much against India. So if you are holding on to some shares, hoping that one day there will be a buyback or something like that, you could be mistaken. So. Uh, understand what works what doesn't work what may work what may not work the proper use of history is to understand that there are various conflicts and there is a contrafactual uh, conclusions which you may have to arrive at um, and it's very difficult to arrive at all these things with doing it alone so maintain a diary in which you write down the mistakes that you have made in the past what you have done sit and talk with your friends brother sister whoever is willing to listen to you right you might have a strategy that uh, oh i am a buy and hold guy i just sit tight and the price comes back that might true for some companies it might not be true for some companies which could just uh, suddenly disappear it may be true for a larsen and tubro it may be true for a voltas it may be true for uh, blue star right some of these companies it might be true and it may not be true for many other companies you have no clue what hit you right so we are emotional for various reasons and the investment is an emotional journey but uh, making sure you know that uh, because of emotion you're making this mistake and things like that once you understand how vulnerable we all are to uh, behavioral finance i think life gets a little easier to uh, uh, earn well invest well spend well and plan for our retirement that is money for everything provided you act with a little restraint and understand the limitations of the investing process. Thank you.